BBN Tonight on your official UK sports station, LEX 18. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Welcome back to BBN Tonight. Brad Calipari has had a lot of different roles with the Kentucky basketball team over the years, but this season he's working under his old man as a graduate <laughs> assistant. <laughs> yeah, he talked with our Maggie Davis about that and has the scouting report on the Hogs. Well, let's just start with this. Coming off another comeback win, this time over LSU. Down in the first half, comebacks to win it. Without Ty Ty Washington or Xavier Wheeler, Brad, what did this win tell you about this team? Really, a lot of guys are stepping up. You know, every guy is doing really well in their role. And now when these two go out, Kellen stepped up a lot. Davion stepped up a lot. Keon, Jacob, they've all taken a lot more load than you know, what they've had to in the past. And that's what having a, a deep team has really helped us with. So when guys go out, you know, we are we are talented enough and skilled enough and deep enough. And, you know, we have a good enough team to where, you know, we can still win games even with guys out. And not to steal a line from your dad here, but how about Bryce? Bryce Hopkins with 13 points, four rebounds off the bench. His first point since early January. So obviously some people were maybe a little surprised by that, but you're with these guys every day in practice. What did you think of Bryce's performance? Did it take you by surprise at all? No, Bryce works hard every day. He's in the gym. You know, it's only a matter of time before it happened. It was really just breaking through that wall where, you know, sometimes you get stuck and, you just need to see one ball go in and, you know, everything else after that is easy. But no, everyone you could tell on the bench, everyone was so happy for Bryce because he really he deserves it. He's a really good kid. He works hard. You don't want to see guys struggle like that. And he, in the summertime, he was doing really well, came back, you know, slowed down a little bit. And now he's starting to figure it out because how things are moving and we're going to need him. And seeing him play well this late, you know, that is really actually something that everyone was happy with. All right, I want to look ahead to Arkansas now because I know that you're one of the guys who spends a lot of time watching tape, breaking down the opponent, and they do have the reigning SEC six man of the year in J.D. Note, averaging about 19 points per game. What does he look like on your scouting report? We're going to have to really, really zone in on him. Like you said, he's averaging 19 points. I'm thinking about, you know, putting on length, you know, maybe Jacob. I don't know. That's something you can't really do too much with because that's going to be a one-on-one -on -one battle. Whoever's on him really has to take that take that challenge and make it difficult for him. One of your sisters, I think, posted a picture earlier this year of you and your dad breaking down film together on the plane right after a win, not even enjoying anything, already moving on to the next opponent. When you're in that mindset, you're in this groove at this point in the season, What's what do you prefer? Do you like replaying a team that you've already seen once this season? I mean, the last couple of games have been that way with Tennessee, Alabama, LSU, or do you like seeing somebody for the first time like Arkansas this Saturday? Playing a team multiple times is always much more difficult. It's easier to prepare for a year, but for a team to play against, it also does make it harder because us are for them. You know, you've already seen their stuff, so it does make the scout easier to, you know, we're going to do this and this, we're going to correct this, opposed to, mm -hmm. you know, when you play a team one time, you go into it, it's difficult for both teams to really, all right, this is what we're going to do here and here. That's more of a personal opinion, but I, I've always, the experiences I've had playing a team two, three times in a season, I feel like those games have always been much more difficult than just playing a team once. For this season and, and to have so much success and to see this team really sort of come into its own at this point as we get towards March, how has it been for you to work with your dad day in and day out? It's been good. You know, I, I enjoy it. I think he enjoys it too, but we'll go back and forth sometimes. His, his new thing is telling me that I have a good mind, but he's so much smarter than me. So I need to, uh, I need to start asking him more questions, which is fine. Some sometimes he he'll start thinking he knows certain things where it's like, dude, come on, you're fine. But you know, we go we go back and forth, and and he's been good. But I really enjoy it. You know, it's been a great experience so far, and you know, the rest of the guys on the staff have all been really good. I really don't think there could be another staff for me to start with that would have been better than this because of how these guys are and what they bring to the table. Great job. Loved hearing <laughs> from Brad there. All right. Last night was a huge night for Ryan Howard and the women's basketball team. More on her new home on UK's all-time leading scorer list, the Cats' hot streak, and how they can keep it going this weekend right after the break.